The Creation B.C. 4004 29 And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. 30 And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. And it was so. Genesis 1 29-30 We have here the third part of the sixth day's work, which was not any new creation, but a gracious provision of food for all flesh, Psalm 136 25. He that made man and beast thus took care to preserve both, Psalm 36 6. Here is 1. Food provided for man, verse 29. Herbs and fruits must be his meat, including corn and all the products of the earth, these were allowed him, but, it should seem, not flesh, till after the flood, chapter 9 3. And before the earth was deluged, much more before it was cursed for man's sake, its fruits, no doubt, were more pleasing to the taste and more strengthening and nourishing to the body than marrow and fatness, and all the portion of the king's meat, are now. See here. 1. That which should make us humble. As we were made out of the earth, so we are maintained out of it. Once indeed, men did eat angels' food, bread from heaven, but they died, John 6 49, it was to them but as food out of the earth, Psalm 104 14. There is meat that endures to everlasting life, the Lord evermore give us this. 2. That which should make us thankful. The Lord is for the body, from him we receive all the supports and comforts of this life, and to him we must give thanks. He gives us all things richly to enjoy, not only for necessity, but plenty, dainties, and varieties, for ornament and delight. How much are we indebted? How careful should we be, as we live upon God's bounty, to live to his glory? 3. That which should make us temperate and content with our lot. Though Adam had dominion given him over fish and fowl, yet God confined him, in his food, to herbs and fruits, and he never complained of it. Though afterwards he coveted forbidden fruit, for the sake of the wisdom and knowledge he promised himself from it, yet we never read that he coveted forbidden flesh. If God give us food for our lives, let us not, with murmuring Israel, ask food for our lusts, Psalm 78 18, see Daniel 1 15. 2. Food provided for the beasts, verse 30. Doth God take care for oxen? Yes, certainly, he provides food convenient for them, and not for oxen only, which were used in his sacrifices and man's service, but even the young lions and the young ravens are the care of his providence, they ask and have their meat from God. Let us give to God the glory of his bounty to the inferior creatures, that all are fed, as it were, at his table, every day. He is a great housekeeper a very rich and bountiful one, that satisfies the desire of every living thing. Let this encourage God's people to cast their care upon him, and not to be solicitous respecting what they shall eat and what they shall drink. He that provided for Adam without his care, and still provides for all the creatures without their care, will not let those that trust him want any good thing, Matthew 6:26. He that feeds his birds will not starve his babes.